Real women murders, not fiction. Love women, don't kill them. Giving real women, unknown women, recognition to the world. Please support our channel and please, please subscribe. Police say her husband shot and killed a mother of three inside their home. Good afternoon. I'm Cheryl McHenry. James Brown is off today. This happened yesterday afternoon on California Avenue in Kettering. News Center 7's Kayla McDermott joins us live now. And Kayla, this is Kettering's first homicide since 2021. And it happened right inside of this home here. And since it happened inside of the home, police, they don't have any suspects at this time. We were the only news station at the scene Tuesday afternoon as police were going into the house. Officers were tipped off about the home from the main suspect, the woman's husband. Kettering Police Department received a call from the Montgomery County Jail stating that they had an individual there uh, who stated that he had had a domestic violent incident at his residence with his wife uh, and that she was injured. When Kettering police entered the home, they quickly found the woman, but she was more than just injured. I uh, went inside and did find a female who was deceased, uh, and she was shot several times. In the incident report, it states the victim was shot in both the head and in the chest. We do believe it occurred in the home. It was in a restroom in the residence. As for the victim's children, I believe there were children inside the residence when this act occurred. Kettering's chief couldn't say what led to the shooting, but in the report, it states the victim's mother was at the house when police arrived. She could not make contact with her daughter and was there to pick her up to move her out. Once finding the victim, the husband was taken into custody. He is now in the Kettering City Jail. Police did not release his name, but we checked the booking system. There are only two people in custody currently, one of which is 27-year-old Tavion Glenn, who is charged with aggravated murder. He was brought in on 330 West 2nd Street, the location of the Montgomery County Jail. Once the suspect is charged, police will identify him. And we did some digging and found out how rare homicides are here in Kettering. In an hour, I'll tell you how many there have been since 2019. And you'll also hear from a neighbor who said that he was shocked that this happened on his block. Reporting live in Kettering, Kayla McDermott, New Center 7. We'll see you at 6. investigation remains underway tonight after police found a 28 year old woman shot dead inside her Kettering home. The coroner's office now identifying her as Sierra Still and Gwyneth Falloon is now back in studio live tonight. And what are police telling you about the suspect?
Well, at least they're really not saying too much. They actually would not release the suspect's name claiming Marcy's law. That what law went into effect in April of this year, allowing a representative of the victim to decide not to release the names or addresses, amongst other things. However, I spoke to Still's mother just probably a little over an hour ago. She tells me this man, Tavion Glenn, was still hu was Still's husband. Now, police, without giving a name, did confirm that the victim and the suspect were married at the time of her death. The Montgomery County Jail right here says Glenn booked into jail the same day Still was found in her Kettering home, dead by Kettering police, dead in her home by Kettering police. Now, court documents do tell us that he and Still lived at the same address. The events the other day were quite shocking. Kettering community members shocked. One of their neighbors was shot and killed just down the street. It's my house uh, for 24 years. It's just nice and peaceful. I mean, a lot of families, kids. Kettering police telling us the suspect who they have not yet named is a 27-year-old man who turned himself in at the Montgomery County Jail. They were married. However, I spoke to Still's mother tonight. She confirms Still and this man, Tavion Glenn, was her husband. Still's mother also confirms Glenn was booked into the Montgomery County Jail on Tuesday the 6th by Kettering Police. After doing some digging, I found court documents showing Glenn was involved in a domestic violence case back in 2016. A temporary protection order was filed, then retracted. The case was ultimately dismissed and is unclear at this time who filed that order. Now, Kettering Police are continuing to investigate, and as we learn any new information, we're going to bring you the latest on air and online. But in the meantime, there is a GoFundMe page that Stills family has set up to help with funeral expenses as well as expenses for her three children. That information can be found on our website, Dayton 24-7 now. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.